Hello again. Uh, in a prior video, we talked about managing delegates. In this video, we are actually going to act as a delegate and show you how that function is used. And what we're going to do is um, we're actually on the home page of Project Web App. I'll go to Server Settings. And again, in the, in the Personal Settings area, you'll see the two actual links, the Manage and the Act. If you recall in the Manage, we created the delegate here. Delegate name being Katie, that's who I'm logged in as. I need to log in and act as somebody. Uh, who that somebody is is actually Garth, and then that's the time period this is uh, enabled for. Go back to server settings. Uh, in this particular case, Garth, um, what I did is as Katie, I created a simple project, task one and two. I assigned Garth to the two tasks. What I want to do is run through a scenario where Garth is on vacation. Katie needs to log into the system as Garth and submit a timesheet for him. And that's what we're going to do. I'm going to close out of the project. Nope, nope, we're going to. I don't need to save the changes in this particular case. Okay, all right. Let's act as delegate. Click on act as delegate. Select the row that you want to utilize. Select start delegate session. The first thing you're going to notice is the blue bar here. Um, excuse me, not the blue, the yellow bar. Uh, Clear as day, going to notify you that you're currently logged into somebody else. Uh, you're acting as a delegate for Garth Fork. Click here to manage your delegate. So, so again, it's, you know, it's really kind of a, a very loud to let you know that you're currently acting as somebody else and be very careful with what you're doing. If you click the here button, it'll bring you back to here so you're able to click on the stop delegate session. What I said I was going to do is navigate to the timesheet and uh, enter some time as Garth in this case, I need to scroll forward a couple periods, and let's go one more. And um, okay, so what we can see is we actually have some time uh, already submitted here. I'm going to re-enter it. Just 32, uh, 40 right across the board there. You can see I have the planned time showing as well. If I need to do that comparison, I can have the planned time showing here. Not always something that um, I do. I like to keep my timesheet very thin because I'll have a lot of tasks there at one time. There we go. 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 4, 4, 4 through 4, 8 in this particular timesheet. And what I'm going to do is submit this. We'll click send, send progress for all tasks. We're not going to submit a, a comment in this particular case. Brief moment delay will be submitted and there you go there it says uh, it's currently waiting approval at this point in time remember that uh, Katie's the status approver as well therefore when I end this delegate session I'm going to be able to as Katie review those pending approvals and uh, then subsequently approve them so I clicked on the here the here brings me to the act as delegate functionality and then you'll remember from previously we have that stop delegate session ribbon bar button click on that now you see the yellow bar goes away that means I'm acting as me again, Katie, in this case. And the thing that um, I was going to look for, let's go to the home page, because we should be able to see this on the home page as well. If I go to the home page, the first thing I notice and track my work in the approval section is this. One, approval pending. If I click on that, that'll bring me to the approval section. The other thing I would have received is a, an email notification if I have email notifications set up. We go to the approval. I remember, it was task one on Dan task. 101, a total of 40 hours because it was five days for that entire task. If I move the divider bar over, you can see some other data points here. Um, we can talk about uh, time sheet setup in another video. In this case, I'm going to select the updates, click the checkbox, select accept. And um, the tool is working on it. It's accepting the actuals. Go ahead and click OK. And it's really as simple as that. that. So that delegate feature is is a huge boost to the tool, allowing us to log in and perform as somebody else. And it's even great from a troubleshooting perspective if somebody's um, telling you, hey, I, I can't see a project and I'm supposed to be able to. You, as a, a person trying to troubleshoot that issue, can actually log in as them using the delegate feature to troubleshoot that issue. So great functionality. Thanks for watching.